What's up, DNA gang? Y'all know the name. How y'all doing the today? Day. Man, today we got Animal Secrets. Zoos don't want you to know. Oh, wow. I never really liked the zoo. It just always stunk to me. I like the so zoo. So it's like, uh, but hey, if you ready? I'm ready. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Cue the intro. Yeah, yeah. Let me draw the boat, bitch. You know I wrecked the ship. All right. Get it by the boat. Watch a nigga make it flip. I, make it flip. I ain't a little boat, but I just want night the bitch. All right, before we get into this, hit that subscribe button. And that notification <clears> bell <throat> so you don't miss another video. Let's hear about these secrets. Animal facts that zookeepers might not want to tell you. Zebras are one of the most responsible for injuries to zookeepers because they're wildly unpredictable and overall assholes. Life can really go from zero to kick in the chest if you're around one. Oh, the hand ribs ones are the worst because people think they're wild horses when really they're demon donkeys that'll crack your ribs and bite off your hand unprovoked. In a place with lions, bears, and gators, your biggest op- So you telling me with still with them flat ass teeth, he can rip my arm off? Get pissed off or your horse. If you work with foxes, your social life will suffer. Not only do they smell horrible, but the smell of fox pee sticks to hair, clothes, and skin and lasts weeks, no matter how hard or long you smell. Oh, Getting fur jelly with the fox is a great way to make people avoid you like the real one. Rhinos are the world's biggest and most dangerous puppies. White rhinos will eat out of your hand and they love being scratched for a 5,000 pound armored truck with legs they have the personality of a Labrador. With ducks, you never want to have more males than females. As what? a rule, you need four to six males for every female because if you don't, the males will get aggressive and jump the female. I couldn't find the TikTok, but basically she was saying a female duck lost her eye because during a particularly violent session, one of the males got impatient and ripped her eyeball out. And since Damn, you couldn't wait for the cheeks? He said, no, it's my turn, nigga. Roger, take it too long. Right. <laughs> If it happens in water, multiple males could possibly drown the female. If it is in water, they could break her bones. Animal secret zookeepers might not want to tell you, part two. Ant eaters are way meaner than they get credit for, and sometimes they'll just snap and take a life for no reason. Like, even jaguars would hesitate to attack them, because they're really only one swing away from being a memory. One ant eater mauled a zookeeper so... Oh, see, but you know what's crazy? And I don't want to offend the animal lovers, but... They can kill us, you be like, don't hurt the animal. But if we eat some chicken, you murderer... Bitch, what? Like, what? What? She had severe liver, stomach, and lung damage. Damn. And she died. You watch your back if you're in his hood. Tortoises are jaw-droppingly stupid. If you leave a bucket around them, they will 100% try to make babies with it. And they'll even give the treatment to an extra curvy boulder. Orangutans are evil pick up all the treatment. They'll steal items of importance and only return them in exchange for food. Sometimes they'll even break up the object and hand it back piece by piece in order to extort more food. Which is unfortunate if they steal your phone or even worse if they steal an animal like an opossum. It's happened. This isn't a secret, but if you've ever seen uh, it, you just ripped the You jokingly said something like, I wonder what animal that is. I can guarantee you that day you got silently cursed out in ways you didn't even know possible. Giraffes can seriously mess you up out of nowhere. Males fight for females by necking, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Sometimes they'll take a swing at keepers not paying attention just to be a dick. And if they connect, they will send you flying. The one day they're not nice is the day someone gets put on sea animal fat zookeeper. I just know. Giraffe neck gotta be the best neck, dude. Look how strong that neck is. Right. Huh. Just imagine a huh. female huh. giraffe and a giraffe on this neck. I'm gonna start necking you out. Going crazy. Close, you'd have an easier time manhandling a crocodile. They claw, they bite, and they are dicks to other animals. Every time a keeper picks one up, their health insurance goes up. Aquariums will have captive breeding programs for dogs. TV is on. Like, they phonies because all these animals they seem nice on the television. Right. Asia. Meaning someone gets paid to get flipper a happy ending and collect the baby maker. And the dolphins are so smart they'll recognize whose job it is and when they see them they'll roll That's over a penis? And present themselves. If you can God you can damn <laughs> I'm like, hold the fuck up. They don't just spit on you. Zookeepers just say spit so you don't totally freak out. What they actually do is regurgitate the concept of their stomach, mix it with saliva, and launch it in the face of whoever's annoying them. Piss one off and they'll basically project all vomit, half eaten grass all over you, and dare you to do something about That's it. That's just disgusting. Out of all the raptors, turkey vultures are one of the most affectionate and they'll form strong emotional bonds with uh. their keepers. They'll follow their favorite around, greet them when they enter the enclosure, and even play with their socks and shoes. If you ignore the fact that they smell like an open casket in July, they're actually pretty cool. Animal fact, zookeepers might not want to tell you. Meerkats are the spawn of Satan and they conduct themselves as such. If you know anyone who's ever worked with meerkats, ask them to show you the scars. I guarantee you they have. Oh, fuck they are, that. no exaggeration, the most homicidal mammals on the planet that aren't humans. I can't if fuck a zoo uh -uh. 
one of their vehicles. I'm gonna stick to my little dog. <laughs> pilot is way more likely that one just straight up murdered another. They're also one of the worst animals for first time zookeepers. I won't look like you've been through some shit. Cute and cuddly and trying to feed them by hand. That is exactly how you go to bed with less fingers than you woke up with. Most keepers understand their animals so well. That boy bite my hand again. Tigers, leopards, and bears. But there's one animal that seems to universally scare everyone. Ironically, cassowaries are shy, introverted in nature, but during breeding season, sometimes these hell turkeys decide to catch a body. They are one of the most dangerously unpredictable hey, animals you'll ever be around. You don't stand between a man and his vagina now. Not at all. Most zoos won't even let humans kill behind it. Hmm. So, hey, you can only imagine what animals can do. Watch. Right. And they often go in with an attack shield in case this Satan truly <clears throat> gets ideas. Orangutans are smart enough to get people fired. In Omaha Zoo in Nebraska, zookeepers kept forgetting to lock the orangutan exhibit, and when they would get there in the morning, five males would be posted outside. The head keeper got on his staff for being careless, but after this happened several more times, he was ready to put someone on unemployment. But it turned out one of the males named Fu Manchu found a piece of wire and hid it between his lips and gums, and when nobody was looking, he used it to pick the lock of his enclosure, and then he proceeded to free all of his friends. It took zookeepers over a week, and the threat of being fired to figure it out cougars are the big bro that's a that's actually He's crazy smart as fuck to be afraid of people but when comfortable they'll seek out head scratches and belly rubs all while purring they're basically giant house guys that could turn you into a headline if they wanted to secret zoos might not want you to know Every zoo has a group of animals that are so dangerous they're kill on sight, meaning if they escape their enclosure or attack somebody, zookeepers are taught to take them out immediately. And surprisingly, a lot of big cats like lions and tigers aren't KOS because they would rather tranquilize and capture them. Even silverbacks are tranquilized first, but there's one animal that's kill on sight in basically every zoo. Shit panties, because not only are they homicidal maniacs and incredibly fast and strong, tranquilizers only piss them off. By the time it kicks in, they could have already chewed someone's face off. Oh. If one escapes, somebody has to See, die, and it's usually the chimp. Blah. And that's my biggest fear about taking DJ to the zoo. Hitting that motherfucking glass no not even just that because what if the fucking animals get out while we're there and he not walking i've never been like, a fan of the zoo we can go to six I, flags i like i like the zoo but i'm like but i don't want an animal to get out and then we have to take off <laughs> vicious. they look innocent but those jaws can inflict nasty injuries on animals and people tamarin was once harassing a three-toed sloth which everyone thought was cute until the sloth clamped his jaws around the monkey's face by the time keepers broke it up the monkey had an eyeball hanging out of its socket and the sloth was covered in blood that wasn't his Tortoises are dicks for no reason. Sometimes if you go in there and close they'll block off the exit by sitting in front of it. And since the outdoor tortoise can be fast step on it's stubborn, you're not going anywhere. A lot of zoos have to rent pandas for a million dollars a year, and it takes another half a million to feed them. She doesn't even include medical and enrichment costs. It can literally single-handedly bankrupt zoos. Might not want to tell you. Part Damn. six. A lot of animals in captivity panda. become much worse parents because honestly, zoo animals are just worse at being animals. In the wild, a mother may reject her baby due to drought or sickness. Zoo animals can reject them purely off vibes. Zoo animals also respond yeah. way worse to stress. When the military jet flew over a Sweden zoo, the animals got so stressed and so pressed they proceeded to tear apart and eat 23 of their babies. It was not pretty. Zoos don't buy or sell animals from each other. Instead, they trade like cards. For example, if you think you would like this big horn puppy, it probably costs you about 20 penguins. Two lion cubs could set you back one grand zebra, and if you have more baby giraffes than you can handle, you can trade them in for a Burmese python, a red-tailed hawk, and a miniature pig. Most hey, of them are about to trade in the game. And animals because it can encourage poaching. Except these guys. These bastards are too expensive to trade. Animal escapes are pretty rare, but when a major one happens, everyone basically readjusts their fences and enclosures. Kind of like how in class everybody will change their answers if one kid gets it wrong. A lot of zoos had to readjust their tiger enclosure because three idiots decided to taunt one, and that tiger proceeded to eat itself. That's how I remember the zoo. Can't blame the tiger, though. Sometimes right. monster selection comes with a free meal. Things zookeepers might not want to tell you. You probably shouldn't work with your favorite animal for the same reason you shouldn't share an apartment with your best friend. After one week, it'll change everything right. you thought you knew about them. You like penguins? They smell like Satan's locker and snap and bite at your shins every time you feed them. You like tigers? Tiger poop is one of the worst smelling things you'll ever live through. Yeah. Like elephants? I mean, give one an enema, I swear you. next day you'll be at unemployment. Don't oh, God! Animal, you'll have a new favorite by You will have me Being so... so I'm, cool. I'm, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. I'm quitting and I'm fucking that elephant up. I'm I don't done. care. Animals all day. It's incredibly difficult and I'm ridiculously demanding. Done. They work well over 40 hours a week and often have to sleep as much as they can respond to the emergency. Push him in his ass off. I'm already getting shit in all. Plug that bitch right up. Animal, you're a different breed. But they're so dedicated to the animals that it's worth it. But if you personally know a zookeeper, tell them you appreciate them. Lord knows they don't hear it enough. Out of all the animals, the most dangerous and the ones zookeepers hate working with the most are the ones outside the cage. No other animal causes more right. migraines or higher blood pressure than the human primate armed with an iPhone and a sense of entitlement. Most zookeepers agree if you kept the animals at band, the people's zoos would be ten times more fun, and I don't blame them for thinking that. Animal facts you definitely wouldn't know unless you worked at a zoo. Walruses are really talented at baiting. In fact, you you could say they're master baits. They do a lot. You're probably wondering how a walrus does this. Well, there's two options. One, they slap themselves with their flippers, or two, they're flexible enough to self-service themselves with their mouth. And if you've seen a walrus, you've probably seen one do this. Bonobos will go out of their way to wait until they have a crowd okay. of people around them and then start spontaneously happy. He told you I need your help. 
in front of the audience. They do it on purpose. I don't know why, but literally the more people are around, the more likely they are to ruin the innocence of any child watching. Tigers can't purr, so to show affection, they'll do the same slow blink that your cat does to tell you he loves you. Tigers share 95% of their DNA with domestic cats, which makes sense because they're basically house cats on steroids. They'll cuddle up to their favorite keepers, play hide and seek with them, and of course give them that famous love blink. Tigers are soft. A lot of animals get lonely during the winter because there's less visitors and they're used to seeing people. This usually happens with higher intelligence animals like elephants, primates, and parrots like the African Grey. During COVID, one zoo brought painters into the monkey house just so that monkeys would feel less alone. One Japanese zoo asked people to FaceTime the eels just so they wouldn't forget about people. Top three dumbest things to ever happen at a zoo. And no, number one is not what you think it is. In 2009, a woman is decided to take a flash pass to Jesus by jumping into the polar bear exhibit in a Berlin zoo. She proceeded Fuck to get no. followed by four of the biggest carnivores on the planet. At one point, zookeepers were able to pull her out of the pool, but of course she fell right back in. She also did this during the polar bear's feeding time. Apparently, she lost her teaching job and was so depressed that she decided to factory reset her life one of the worst ways possible. And zookeepers were actually seconds away from shooting the bears just to save her. Luckily, she and the polar bears lived. In 2007 in San Francisco, three ducks. Why would you She was ready like to end that? it all. Obviously. Why would you want to go that way, she though? She decided to make the census three names lighter. I want to go by Malice, soon. Tatiana jumped over a nearly 13-foot wall and violated all three, murking one and severely injuring the other two. And what's true today was true back then. If you're young and dumb, you will get paid. And after getting sued, the zoo had to pay a 900,000 stupid tax to the brothers. Ooh. Number one isn't actually this. Because in 2012, a mother lifted her son over a railing to get a better look at the animals. He then dropped the two-year-old into the African wild dog exhibit. He survived the fall, but not the dogs. And if you know how African wild dogs hunt prey, you know this was very bad. On top of all that, the mother sued the Pittsburgh Zoo for negligence. Why? Yeah. Obviously, that was you. He was a little boy because nobody deserves that. But um, yeah, the railing's there for a fucking reason. Three more of the dumbest right. things ever happened at a zoo. And number one will make you feel some type of way. In 2017, a man decided he didn't want to pay the price of admission to get into a zoo and instead scaled a 10-foot wall to get in. And best believe a price was paid. Because my man's ended up in the living room of three of the biggest big cats on the planet. The man was brutally mauled in front of four or five guests. And I like to think the last thing that went through his head, other than, you know, the tiger's teeth, was if it was really worth it. You can't put a price on life, but this man gambled his entire way at being over $19. Right. Also, one of the tigers died over his stupidity. At wow. number two, you probably know exactly where this is going. Another dumbass who will not be named was a regular at a Netherlands zoo, and she had a habit of smiling at the gorillas and making eye contact, even though trained zookeepers told her not to. She ignored them and said that she had a special bond with the gorillas since they always smiled back. Basically, she pulled up, trust me, I know him, he'll listen to me. Remember what we talked about, this isn't you. Yeah, she played pick me with a 400 pound gorilla and one day Bikita woke up and chose Muralax because he wasn't taking no shit. Bikita escaped, beat the woman like she stole something from it and then broke into a restaurant. And number one, in 1987 at Prospect Park Zoo, the broke the boys decided to climb into an exhibit and swim in a moat. Whose exhibit, you ask? Well, originally they planned on swimming in a sea lion pool, but somewhere along the line they decided they just didn't value their lives. They went into the polar bear den. What happened next was two 900 pound murder bears proceeded to play tug of war with the 11 year old's body. Police came and shot the bears, but the boy was already past tense. Did I mention this was all because of a dare? It was a tragic, senseless, avoidable death that never should what? have happened. Bro, people are dumb. As for the boy, he can rest in pieces. Bro. What the fuck? Bro, that's like, crazy. Shit like that is just like... It's not worth it. What's wrong with people? I never thought of... Mm -mm. I ain't never thought about hopping over no damn fence at no damn zoo to see no animals up close. I'm cool with where I'm, we're at. Right. I've always been told, leave people to the fuck alone, then leave you alone. Right. Same thing go with animals. Hey, that went for, especially for them for that gorilla. Right, but hey, we'll catch y'all next time, man. Peace out. We out. By the boat, watch a nigga make it flip. I, make it flip. I ain't a little boat, but I just want night the bitch. One night, they don't